Um, what really sparked my interest in being a motocross mechanic was um, really the fact that I wasn't fast enough to make it. And as a little kid growing up in uh, northern North Dakota, the closest track was Millville, and seeing all of the other mechanics and the pro riders, like, really gave me that, like, cool star, like, effect, and I just wanted to be a part of that. And, um, yeah, that, that initially sparked my interest in being a mechanic. Uh, I would say the season's going quite well. Um, we've had quite a few more highs than lows, so that's good. And uh, working with Chase, honestly, he's, he's one of the most smartest and most independent people I've ever worked with. He, could, he can make anything work. He's just that talented of a person. And he, he's quite uh, simple. He's not picky, really, with much of his bike. Um, but working with Chase and uh, the whole Sexton family has been unreal this year. I couldn't ask for a better guy to work for. Yeah, no, no nerves coming into the weekend. Uh, it's the same as every weekend. You know, you do your best job on the bike every weekend. Uh, you need to be confident in yourself because you've just made it through every round with uh, everything working fine and doing well. So you just have to do the same thing and uh, hopefully you come out on top again this weekend. Surprise mechanic of the year. Yeah, yeah. You know, I, I completely forgot about that. I'm not big. <laughs> I'm not big. Uh, in the, I don't like the limelight so much. So uh, that was a little bit nerve wracking for me. But uh, yeah, I mean, I'm stoked. All my bolts stayed in, so uh, my bike stayed together. And Chase is a madman. Yeah. 